This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. An update now from Call 6 Investigates. The state says it will not release the specific number of COVID-19 deaths or cases at each individual nursing home and will not say which nursing homes have an outbreak of coronavirus cases. Yesterday, the governor and state health commissioner rejected requests from Senate Democrats to collect and publish nursing home deaths and cases broken down by facility. Call 6 Investigates has been asking for the information since April. The state says it is tracking the info, but feels it is adequate to provide the information only to families with loved ones in nursing homes. And for months, Call 6 Investigates Kara Kenny has been digging into the problem of racial inequity and discipline disparity in schools. In fact, she has found that Indiana ranks fourth highest in the country when it comes to the rate of out of school suspensions for black teens in middle and high school. Black students make up 12% of the state student population, yet they make up 26% of arrests on school property. Experts say this discipline disparity has lifelong impacts on black people in our state. And tonight, one IPS commissioner is proposing changes to try to fix this ish issue in central Indiana's largest school district. Commissioner Vanita Moore's proposal includes working alongside IPS's superintendent and district leadership to address the disproportionate suspension and expulsion rates and develop a report and action plan for community review within the next 90 days. This strategy would also require all IPS police officers attend racial equity training. Moore also wants IPS to launch a district-wide curriculum review to include civil rights education and training for students. Again, this is a proposal and will likely need approval from the IPS board before it can move forward. Kevin. Rain chances are low tomorrow. Temperatures high. We'll be up to 90 with more humidity returning. Saturday morning, I think we'll have some fading thunderstorms in the morning and then wait until later in the day. Then we become more likely Saturday uh, afternoon into Saturday night. More thunderstorms around on Sunday and Monday. The humidity plays a starring role in the weekend forecast. High humidity means heavy rainfall where those thunderstorms develop. Temperatures a little cooler over the weekend because of the fact we'll have the periods of thunderstorms and more cloud cover. Temperatures middle to upper 80s right on through the middle of next week. Amanda? For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thank you for joining us.